In the comic books, The Boys, Soldier Boy and Homelander get it on during the Herogasm issue. Get it? Two words merged together. While Amazon had specifically stated this would not be happening in the show, many people watched the episode hoping for it anyways. In Stranger Things, Will Byers has continually been hinted at as queer, but the show refuses to commit to the character's identity in any way. Many are calling both shows out for queer baiting or intentionally misleading reviewers about LGBTQ plus content in order to draw viewers, but then not delivering on the content. Our Hot Topic headline of the week gets us to ask, do we care about queer baiting? Stranger Things and the Boys makes us wonder. What do y'all think? Absolutely. And you know, this is this is one of those instances that's sort of it's like a rainbow capitalism adjacent, right? Where you see this this marketing ploy of, you know, they know what they call the hero gasm. They know what they're doing. They know full well. And then you see, um, and then they and then they and then it's edging. It's it's edging. That's the word but of the day. Something, Wait, but is there something wrong with that? But isn't that life? Isn't life like that? That sometimes you can kind of like, okay, yeah, I might like a girl today, maybe tomorrow I don't. I mean, that's just I don't think that's I don't think it's queer baiting at all. And, did, and didn't the season opener of the boys have one Walked of the characters inside penis. of yes. a penis? That's, true. that's not queer bait. That's that's just pretty gay. Well, and I don't <laughs> think pretty gay. I don't think that Stranger Things is queer baiting specifically because it's set in the mid 1980s when coming out was at a different time. Yeah. And I think that it really captures this Car Will's hesitation about coming out, even though his brother hints that he knows and people around him know. So I don't think it's queer bidding at all. It's being true you, to the period. You make a very academic, intellectual observation, which I like. Um, uh, do you think Will's gay? I do think that the character is you, gay. You, well, Will, the character. Yeah. So you think he's uh, gay. Yeah. Does it bother you then, um, beyond the academic observation you just made, does it bother you that there's no delivery on that? He's not, you know, he doesn't kiss, he doesn't hold hands. Well, there's another season coming. Yeah. The current yeah. season. So I you have it, hope. And there's, an, I don't I don't actually have hope, but I think that it, they're being they're being good to the lesbian okay. character. The lesbian character, it, it, I don't know, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but there's a nice moment in the current season where uh, she you know, is reunited with her friend. Is there a sex scene? I'll watch no. it if there's a sex scene. <laughs> no, Just say isn't. it, Greg. No, Are there, there two isn't. lesbians? Are they doing no. like this? There no. aren't any sex scenes at all no. in the there's whole entire no series. There's no sex in the entire series. Oh. <laughs> but but I, I want to come back and, and uh, I want to call you out and you'll, you'll you know, yeah, I'll, I'll do it lovingly. <laughs> um, haven't you succumbed to the queer baiting? Because you know that Will is gay from your perspective and you have hope that it will happen the next season, which is exactly why they might want to queer bait. The queer baiting oh, is working. Just, it's working. <laughs> well, I mean, whether he comes out or not, it's, it's clear from the end wait, of the season. Wait. Can everybody hear the shoes running down the pavement? The, <laughs> the point is specifically- It's clear that this character is, is queer. Okay. It's clear but, that he's attracted to his okay. best friend. All right. all right, all right. But I'm doing my best to continue to hold on to your shirt. Um, <laughs> my you, Emerson College shirt, by the way, which is worn by one of the characters in the show because she's going to be attending Emerson College. In oh, the fall. that's so right. So it's a real college. Yeah, Emerson? Be <laughs> <laughs> <You> sure. <laughs> Is that where you went, Greg? That's where I went. Oh, that's um, hence where you got the shirt. Yeah. Right? So you've had that shirt for 43 years. No, they've actually <laughs> reproduced <laughs> that shirt on our They've show. actually Thank reproduced you. this shirt from the 80s for the show, and it's for sale, and the money is being donated to Uvalde. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. Serious. No, no, no. Then, then it's okay. Yeah, it's, then a, we're it's good. okay. All right. I, I think that we have to recognize, though, that, like, you, in order to show more definitively that a character is queer, that doesn't mean they have to come out to other people. The whole point of a show isn't that we're another person that's in the no, show. We get just, to peek into yeah, these things yeah. behind the scenes. And it's like, a storyline. Like every show we watch, we can't wait for the, the main character to get with the yeah. hunk or get with the girl. Let it's me, just part uh, of the storyline. Let me give you another example in Stranger Things. By the way, it was announced today. It is breaking news on Stranger Things. The Stranger Things um, uh, will become... Uh, the most viewed streaming show in history. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, already more than one billion views in the last month. Hold on, billion as in B? B, mm -hmm. a B. 
Uh, the Holy only crap. thing that uh, rivals it is Squid Games, and they've already said, no, it's going to eclipse Squid Games. Squid Game, I mean, it was when we were all at home, yeah. you know, stuck with nothing else yeah. but TV. Yeah. Come exactly. on, think about that. Um, in terms of, uh, so big, we're talking about, it, and, and the other thing that's interesting, I think, about uh, why Stranger Things is so successful on that number, uh, this is a June and into the first weekend of July release of Stranger Things that had sat dusty for three years. Mm -hmm. It's not like one right after another. It sat for three years of going, no, you don't get any more. And three years later, it comes back, and it's the most successful. And you're thirsty as ever. hell for it. But I you mean, know, but you know what? I think that my issue with queer baiting more than anything else is it it popularizes this phenomenon of speculating about people's sexuality. And I think that making that even you know these aren't real people; they're fictional, mm -hmm. whatever. But pop you know making that a normal thing or an okay thing because it's intentional right like like we when we're talking about queer baiting these people are sending off these signals to to viewers intentionally to make it seem like oh are they gay are they and it makes it okay to speculate let and me, i don't and i think that's dangerous let me ask you about an example of exactly what max just said in stranger things 4 that is uh that uh, has has just you know they launched the final episodes fourth of july weekend uh, just this last weekend, uh, in the institute that is working on the uh, on the special people like Eleven, uh, the gathering room is called the Rainbow Room, and the Rainbow Room is uh, a wall that is painted rainbow. Now, okay, uh, the LGBTQ community doesn't own rainbows, but in today's day and age, in the month of Pride leading out of pride the rainbow room is pretty much it could be signaling yes yeah, yeah. it could be yeah okay well is that you is know, that okay is well that like you baiting? said we don't we don't own the rainbow so yeah. no i don't think it's queer baiting yeah yeah and they're telling a story uh, well, like, like you said, it's a story like said let the story unfold yeah but what's the story of uh, the rainbow in the gathering room of all of these very, very special people, of which the principal character of the entire series is Eleven. And she's in this rainbow room with a gigantic rainbow wall behind her. It's, it's like saying uh, the Empire State Building that is illuminated for Fourth of July, red, white, and blue, that doesn't have anything to do with America. Right? Mm, no, you I, don't agree don't, with that. I don't think that there's a correlation. Why is that? Explain to me why. But it makes me think of um, no, no. One of first, the X Men explain shows. Explain to me why it doesn't make you think that. Well, because there's nothing queer about the characters in this facility. There's, I mean, there's the, again, we don't own the rainbow. I don't think it was used against us or used to, to lure us in. But it makes me think about the second X Men movie, where supposedly it was like. Um, like a metaphor for queer people. I'm not a big fan of that series, but I watched that one and you can see the connection. So I see how, how maybe people with special abilities, special gifts might be considered gay. And, let me, but I don't think in the case of- Let Street, me ask the question in a different Street. way. I have a friend, I've, I've told this story before. I have a friend that automatically, if the guy is sexy in whatever it is, television, <laughs> magazine, uh, movie, whatever, uh, we could be at the movies and he goes, oh, he's probably gay. And then when I'm going, uh, he, he has uh, a wife and, a, and is divorced and has 19 children. And he says he's, so. He's not gay. <laughs> oh, no, no. He could be. Well, because us in the gay community, we want everybody to be gay. Uh, you know? Well, there's my point. But, <laughs> okay, and, and thank you for saying that. But that, does that not open the door to they know what they're doing? that they want to put that in front of community and, and I, and to I, follow it. And, There's the breadcrumbs. And I would have to say, I, dis I disagree with Greg because I think that Again, it's it's during you put a, a, a your rainbow in your in your you know your show during Pride, Pride Month. You know, it's 2022. I think that and 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 the other thing is they have to think about how is how is how are these visual yeah. elements being perceived. And there's no way that they're like, yeah, people aren't gonna think that this means gay. Like yeah. they know what they're yeah, doing, absolutely. or they know that plenty of people are going to interpret that way. Yeah. And they and they chose to they, they made a conscious yeah. decision to. Let do me that. give you another example. And in, in the boys. Um, um, I posted over the weekend, I don't know if you saw my post, I posted as a spoiler alert, of which I'll do the exact same thing here. Um, I, uh, we railed against the boys right from the very beginning, saying, my goodness, this is a metaphor on toxic masculinity. Uh, what happens if Superman is a sociopath uh, mass killer? 
what would you do? Because how do you stop Superman? And the other related characters. The Boys has done that for two years. They've done that for the first half of season three. And then something happens in the show and you realize, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, you realize that the metaphor of Homelander is Donald Trump. And that what's going on in this in, in this story arc is that half of the country loves the soups, mm -hmm. half the country hates the soups, half think that they're the saviors, half think that they're devil incarnate and going to kill everybody. Fake news, fake news, politicians, politicians are evil, lying individuals, and the whole metaphor of uh, the boys is January 6th. Very true to life. It's wow. very true to life. And then they introduce this new character, uh, called Soldier Boy, which by the way I loved because he is the original character from Supernatural and he's the, the cute one. Everybody loved the tall one. I loved. Wait a minute, really? Dean? Dean is oh, I'm watching Soldier this Boy. Now. You just got me. You're kidding me. He is Soldier Boy in this. Oh my God, and I love in the him. comics, uh, you know, our production staff helped me understand because I didn't read them uh, that Soldier Boy and Homelander have a sexual experience <gasps> in the comics. And Herogasm was where it was implemented. And Herogasm is an event where all the soups come together, organized by um, uh, organized by Soldier Boy, and it's basically a um, a mass orgy for soups for the weekend. And they have one. And then and now you see a battle scene between Homelander and and Soldier Boy, and and the story goes on from there. But it was all heavily teased about herogasm, ringing a dog whistle, mm. going, wait, this is coming, this is coming. Now, it didn't come, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> but it would have been amazing. <laughs> it would have been amazing. So no it, 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 if is only it, they had come. Is it queer baiting, <laughs> right? From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> is it queer baiting? Now that you picture it like that, maybe it is, but that's okay. Oh, well, like, there's want, the question. I want to watch things that include my community, even if it's just alluding to it. We're okay I want to watch that. that. We're okay it's, if it if it's true. You know what's Let's crazy? come back to part, you. It's part of visibility, Al. Uh, you you're well, saying you say representation, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. So you're okay with it. You're saying it may not. It, you don't think it's happening. We hear you. But even if it was happening, and we think it's happening, you know, Max's point about the rainbow. What were they thinking the wall was going to mean in Pride Month? Um, the question is, does anybody get hurt by it? Are anyone oppressed by no, it? I anyone? Think, I, I think we got bigger shit to deal with, Al. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. I think yeah. that we're okay with this right now. Yeah. Still the visibility, still the inclusivity. Sure. We need all that, and we want to yeah. see it on a screen, and yeah. we'll sit there and wait to the last episode of the last season for it. Yeah. Um, uh, fair enough. Uh, we'll leave it there in terms of queer baiting. I'm watching uh, now, I, Dean. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Power watch Stranger Things. Amazing. Mm -hmm. But season three, even if you haven't liked the boys, try season three. It, it turns super interesting. Um, <laughs> Donald Trump as Superman, <laughs> who no one can stop. Ugh. That's scary. A How about a kryptonite story. penis? Can that stop him? Well, <laughs> I guess I guess we're going to find out. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.